fortunately, that got railroaded when Russia invaded Ukraine. We, about a week before the invasion, I packed my car, packed my cats, and we lived Great Cat Studio. It was the hardest thing I've done in a long time because building the thing you really want to do with your life, the thing that really matters to you, you finally get to a place where you have it and then you lose it. Very short space of time. Two winters, you know, I had the, I had the studio for basically two winters and then the studio, it still exists now, but um, right now Kiev is going through Rolling blackouts is under constant bombardment and um, it's going to be the first winter that the country has to go through a war and um, I don't know what will happen to the studio. The story is a combination of me finding my voice, going back to who I am and rebuilding Raycat and the story Breakout Studio, and that's going to be the story that I'm going to focus on telling as I'm going through this. The story is it's deeply personal. It's a deeply personal journey. Driving to Graz, Austria. You see the sky? Look at the sky. Look at it's the beautiful. Sky. Two cats and two yeah, four refugees, two cats, two women. Yeah. Graz, Australia. Yes. Austria. Yes. Make the grey cats smoothing the Austria. And here's to you, my own boy. Oh, child. <laughs> The advantage I have is I'm Canadian and the other advantage I have is that I sing and write songs in English and um, that's a very big important thing if you want to be Canadian and you want to be a musician in Canada. Um, so I began to realize that if I am going to go back to being, um, putting myself back on stage and, and going through rebuilding my, my identity as a musician, that I had to actually come home because this is where my audience really is. And this is where I have a place or a platform to build from. It's at one, at some point in the future, I will rebuild Grey Cat or maybe um, fate will intervene and I will get my studio back in Kiev. But I think that the, the reality is that Grey Cat isn't just a place. Grey Cat... It looks like an Italiana. Who does? Italiana. Me? The glasses, it's your glasses. I'm wearing your glasses. I think I'm at the place now where if I build the second studio, it would very likely be Canada. I was thinking I would do it in Europe, but I began to realize that Europe might be a very, very stressful place for a couple of years. I think to be creative like this, you need to have something stable. You need a stable place. And losing the theater taught me that you, you underrate how stability matters. The reason I managed to build a business in Canada was because I had stability. I never had to worry about it being stolen or broken or taken away from me in some format. And I, I took that for granted. But I understood what that meant when I lost the studio in Kiev. I understood what it meant to live in a place where you can't control what some person will get up and do one day. The odds are just terrible. And then you have no control. So 
it's very, very likely as I'm going through this process that I will rebuild in Canada or North America at the very least. I will rebuild here. Thank you.